What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo here, and welcome back to my true first person shooter tutorial series. This is part nine, where I'm going to be showing you how to set up look and aiming sensitivity, as well as an armor style aiming dead zone system. That's right guys, the time has finally come where I've got off my ass and recorded the armor style aiming dead zone system shoot. So without further ado, let me show you how to do this. Alrighty guys, now fair warning, uh, this is quite a complicated system and every time that I set this system up, every time I come back to it, I find myself scratching my head, trying to wrap my head around it to get it to work. So you're gonna have to bear with me here, but uh, we will work through this together. So for the record, um, you just want to have some sort of aim state set up. So I've got an input action where I right click and it uh, sets a boolean is aiming, which is then uh, passed over to my animation blueprint and switch into this animation here where I'm aiming. So if we just start by opening up our MetaHumans blueprint, the first thing we're going to do is find our aiming logic, which mine is right here. I'm just going to grab it and move it out here to some empty space because uh, this is where we're going to be working. So I've just, uh, I'm using my, obviously my weapon system, which you can find uh, in my playlist, uh, how to create a weapon system in Unreal Engine 5. And I'm just taking my current weapon variable here and checking is valid uh, before I aim. And then I'm setting this is aiming boolean. So the first thing we're going to do is set up some aiming sensitivity. Um, what I'm gonna do is just grab my current sensitivity controls, which are on event begin play here. So this is my look sensitivity. I'm going to select all of that and duplicate it down here upon released of my input action. So when I release, I'm setting the look sensitivity. Um, and then I'm also just going to grab this stuff and duplicate it up here. I'm going to get rid of horizontal sensitivity and vertical sensitivity. And instead, I'm going to grab my aiming sensitivity. So I've just created these variables here, horizontal aiming sensitivity and vertical aiming sensitivity. I'm going to grab those. They're going to replace these ones over here. Now, I'll just adjust these values real quick. So I'm going to make 0 0.6 my look sensitivity, 0 0.4 my aiming horizontal, Vertical look sensitivity can stay at 0 0.4. Vertical aiming sensitivity can be 0 0.25. Now, this is already going to, if I hit play now, this is already going to create a kind of aiming dead zone uh, mechanic in the vertical, but this is only hinting at what we want to set up here. So um, how we're going to make this work is we're going to find our camera input. Um, we're going to make this a hell of a lot bigger because we're going to add tons of stuff to this. Um, and our setting up our pitch here, we're going to disconnect that because this is going to be our looking pitch and not our aiming pitch. Um, so what we can do here is off of triggering our mouse input, we're going to create a sequence. So every time we move the mouse, it's going to trigger this sequence. And off of the second execution pin, we can create a branch. And off that, that branch is going to be um, is aiming, is going to be our condition. And so this is obviously when we are not aiming, it's going to set our pitch like that. But when we are aiming, what we can do is uh, we can duplicate this. And um, this will be 
the action value y here, but now we're going to multiply it by the aiming sensitivity, vertical aiming sensitivity. So hopefully this should work now. Yep. So we've got look sensitivity when we're not aiming, then when we aim, sensitivity drops, and you can see the pitch value is dropping with it. Alrighty, so here we've got our aiming pitch and our looking pitch, our just standard pitch. Um, we're now going to look at our aiming dead zone system. So the other boolean we're going to set off of here is our uh, aiming dead zone enabled. Just ignore any of these um, variables that you don't recognize. Um, we are just going to create another boolean and call it aiming dead zone enabled question mark and we're going to set that as true when we're aiming and set it as false when we release. Okay and the next thing we're going to do is head on back over to our camera input here and we are going to set up our aiming dead zone system off the end of this uh, setting up the pitch here. So we're going to create a couple of new variables and we're going to call them aiming dead zone pitch of type float and we can duplicate that one and call it aiming dead zone your we are going to grab our current weapon variable current weapon and um, get weapon name the enum get weapon name and then we're going to switch on enum weapon name so this is where we'll set up the aiming dead zone variables for each weapon so let's just do the pistol which if you recall was one uh, we're going to set both of the yaw and the pitch let's do the yaw first and the pitch We're going to need a bunch more space here, so I'm just going to grab this and move it way out here. You could, you don't have to organize it this way. You could separate this into, you know, aiming dead zone, but later on you can collapse a bunch of these to functions to, to make it much neater. Um, I'm not going to be doing any of that. I'm just going to be setting it up for you. So I'm just going to have a quick look at my cheat sheet off the screen here. Um, alrighty, so we're going to be setting the aiming dead zone yaw is going to be clamped for starters. So this is going to be um, how far you want the pistol to be able to move. So I'm going to set this as negative 7.5 to 7.5. And this is going to be added to the aiming dead zone yaw. So aiming dead zone yaw added is the value. Now, this is the tricky part with the organization because we're going to need this one here, the action value x. So remember, yaw is your left and right, and that's going to be set off of. Um, this action value X. So what I might do is um, I'm going to plug this in down here and then grab it. Um, might put that up there and then um, this one we'll put down here. So X will be at the top and Y will be at the bottom. Um, it's pretty tricky to organize and keep it neat. 
bit. Um, so this is actually going to be multiplied um, by our sensitivities. So let's multiply this, plug it in here. And then um, again, we're going to get another multiply and we're going to multiply our aiming sensitivity to our horizontal aiming dead zone sensitivity. So we're gonna to have to create a couple of more, um, couple more variables here. Let's just duplicate our horizontal aiming sensitivity and we'll call it horizontal aiming dead zone sensitivity. And we'll duplicate our vertical aiming sensitivity. We'll call that vertical aiming dead zone sensitivity. You want to be able to tweak these parameters um, to set the game up to play how you like. Um, so that's why that's why we're creating all of these. We want horizontal aiming sensitivity and horizontal aiming dead zone sensitivity. And we won't be able to set defaults unless we compile and save and let's just make the horizontal aiming dead zone sensitivity 0 0.1 so the sensitivity will be a tenth of what it is here the reason for that is that when we start um, adding this yaw into five spine bones it can be quite aggressive so this horizontal aiming dead zone sensitivity and eventually our vertical aiming dead zone sensitivity help to just dial that back a little bit um, that is pretty much that's the your setup the pitch is going to be exactly the same um, except I have got a multiplier on it um, of 2.5 I don't know why but I'm just gonna grab these maths nodes and we are also going to clamp this. We'll clamp it for now between the values of negative three and positive three. And this will be added to our aiming dead zone pitch. We are going to I'm not sure if this this might be an old setup um, since before the changes we made to the sensitivity so this may need tweaking but how I had it set up previously is multiplying this by 2.5 um, and this was grab the action value Y here whoops action value Y and plug it in here. Grab a reroute node, so we'll grab all of the Y's from down here and the X's from up here. And that again is going to be multiplied by our two sensitivities, which will be our vertical aiming sensitivity and our vertical aiming dead zone sensitivity which again, we will change to 0 0.1. Now let's pass these variables into our animation blueprint and just test it and see how it's working so far. Click on the body, search for my animation blueprint and open this up. And in the event graph, I am going to grab the character reference and get, um, what did we call it? Get ah, aiming dead zone your and get aiming dead zone pitch. promote each of these to a variable. Again, don't worry about any extra variables here that you um, are not familiar with. 
like I said this project is a bit of a Frankenstein where I test things out so now we have access to our aiming dead zone pitch and our aiming dead zone yaw in our animation blueprints so compile and save that and head over to the enum graph um, and what we're going to do is we are going to add our aiming dead zone pitch to our pitch so they're going to combine aiming dead zone pitch and the aiming dead zone your you can just plug into your all right let's have a look how this is working now I have got an aiming dead zone um, let's just set up the reset function for when we releasing when we release aim okay so we want to set that up on our aiming logic so when we release aim here uh, aiming dead zone has been disabled which means we can then reset it so let's first get a branch um, aiming dead zone has to be disabled um, we also want to check that the yaw and the pitch are zero so we're going to get an and boolean and off of the top one let's get a not boolean and aiming dead zone enabled is what we want to not be enabled and here we can get an or boolean and it's going to be our aiming dead zone pitch and our yaw and these are going to be not equal to zero so if our aiming dead zone is not enabled and either the aiming dead zone pitch or the aiming dead zone yaw are not zero then we want to push them towards zero um, just going to have a look at my cheat sheet real quick uno memento por favor uh, yeah so we're going to set both of these now and push them towards zero with f in terp twos so if this is true we want to set our aiming dead zone pitch and our aiming dead zone yaw and we are going to use an f interp2 to smooth things out the current will be the current aiming dead zone pitch the target will be zero for delta time you can get delta world seconds and make the interp speed 10 we can duplicate these and plug in the aiming dead zone yaw into the current and then we want this to loop until um, these have reached zero so a really simple loop is we can just grab a delay delay this by 0 0.005 loop this back to the branch here a couple of reroute nodes to make it a bit cleaner but everything must be straight and look nice And the other thing we can do is, um, well, actually, we don't want to set this to true off of here, do we? Because um, it will be enabling it when we're not aiming. So actually, what we might do is um, is is have one more boolean. Um, we'll call it can reset aiming dead zone so let's make one more boolean can 
reset aiming dead zone question mark of type boolean and we're going to set that off of aiming as false because it's enabled and we can't reset it and then down here we can set it as true and we're going to replace aiming dead zone enabled here with can reset aiming dead zone that's not what I meant to do can reset aiming dead zone and then we can also set can reset aiming dead zone ah, also sorry we will not need this not boolean so can reset aiming dead zone and either of these are at zero it, uh, not at zero is true we can reset it and then on false here we can just set the can reset aiming dead zone to false sorry it's a bit cramped there you go and so if either of these conditions are not met um, this will trigger false and it will break this loop but this is just an extra step we can just reset this to to false um, off of false here why not um, that should be that all set up aiming dead zone and if I release it goes back to the hip fire position nice now the values here are really important so personally uh, I think this is pretty good the way it is but I think we could use a bit more um, the, the aiming dead zone system should swing a bit more than this it shouldn't take so long to get to the other side of the screen otherwise it's it's a bit of a wasted mechanic so how can we speed that up? It might be something to do with this two point time, two point five times. Um, how is it on the vertical? Yeah. So what we might do is just multiply this by two point five times on the on the yaw as well. do that after here so we're basically multiplying all of this action value by 2.5 times plug that into there and again so you could create a variable here which is you know the uh, pistol aiming dead zone um, speed and then you can set it up differently for the different weapons. We, we will do one more weapon while I'm here just to concrete this. Yeah, see, I like that a lot better. Now, when I aim, I can snap between targets and my character isn't turning that much. I think this is cool stuff. Um, one thing you might want to consider when you change the variables such as the clamp, the clamp values, just full screen this is when you're leaning and you look at the extremes you know does the camera clip through the mesh at all it's all right on that side it looks kind of goofy but it also looks kind of cool if I lean to the left and I look all the way to the left you can see the cameras clipping through his shirt a little bit so you might just want to reduce the leaning angle or you might want to clamp this to a tighter value so it's not going all the way to the sides of the screen. Um, that's really up to you. But as you can see here, it's working quite nicely. All right, let's set this up for the assault rifle as well. So we created this switch on weapon enum here. And this is the pistol setup. Um, and what we might do is just we can duplicate most of this actually what we'll do is just duplicate all of it 
Um, and then we'll just switch stuff out. So we'll duplicate all of this aiming dead zone logic and we will plug what was weapon name three? I don't remember what weapon name three was. Maybe I accidentally added one. Um, plug this in down here and these values are going to need to change immediately. So I'm just gonna have a look at what I've got set up in my other project. Uh, one a moment. I've got 2.5 for the yaw and 1 for the pitch. So this is this is an assault rifle. Um, it's locked into your shoulder. It's got much less range of motion. Again, you can change this to whatever you like, but just to demonstrate, it's a good idea to reduce these. Um, what do we actually need to change in here apart from the values? We don't really need to change anything. Ah, really stupid mistake here, guys. We just need to plug the action values in here. So the yaw is coming from all the way up here. This is going to look really messy, but I'm just going to do it. Um, plug the action value Y into the pitch. That's all we needed to do. Really silly mistake. Sorry about that. Now we have aiming dead zone on the assault rifle. These are quite high values. Um, I like to think that if this weapon's locked into your shoulder and you're aiming down the sights, you know it's a longer weapon, um, it doesn't really make sense to have such high values here. So I'll just change these back to what they were. Minus one to positive one. I think this makes a lot more sense. You know, you've still got the feature here, but a lot more locked into the center of the screen. That's it guys. Hey, that wasn't nearly as complicated as I remember it being last time. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Guys, if you've been waiting for this for a long time and you think this is pretty cool, let me know in the comments section what you think. Um, we're nearing the end of the true first person shooter tutorial series now um, because I just want to limit the scope and I want to uh, restart more first person shooter series uh, at a higher level with, you know, cleaner, more well recorded tutorials with less mistakes. Um, but yeah, so that's it, guys. Hit me up in the comments section. And uh, if you haven't already, if this has been of any use to you or value whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.